everyone and I'm coming to you with a review here it's short sweet simple I hope and it's on the Inglot IBs I purchased this a while back maybe two years ago I think a year and a half ago um, from the Inglot store in Miami and I know that at that point they only had like a couple stores now they are branching out everywhere and they also have resellers so I thought I'll share with you since it's more readily available I think this was more like available in the UK or Ireland or something like that. Now it's available worldwide. I have a couple of their eyeshadows and I plan to use them in sometime later this month. And once I do, I'll share. Like, I think I did a review a while back, but I will do an updated review. But I want to just share with you the eye primer. So it's actually in this little jar. And I think the packaging may have changed. And if I can, I'll insert a picture somewhere in this video, maybe to the end or um, somewhere around so that you can see. It says eye makeup base and I think there were two colors. I took 01 and I think more or less they were going to skin tone. So this is what it is. In a MAC, I'm like um, NC42, um, I think like Golden Tan in CoverGirl, Train 1. I can't remember if like 106 or 107 in the L'Oreal True Match. No, L'Oreal uh, Matte, the Pro Matte Infallible. Yeah. So it's like a nice skin tone and I love the color of it. Now, the other thing about it that I like is that um, it blends in really well, but it also looks like, you know, the texture that you get with a concealer. Um, I know some people use concealer as base, others use it um, like the soft ochre paint spot because it's very, um, it helps to cancel out like veining in the eyes and stuff. So this one is good. When I did purchase it originally, it was a little too watery now that um, I let it dry a bit. It's much better and I love this consistency. It's not as thick as concealer and concealer usually takes a little while to blend out but um this blends out really really well and i will try and insert pictures at the end of this video like how it looks on my skin when you apply it and then um with shadow on top as against and applying shadow without it so you can see how it makes the eyeshadows pop i am wearing this now and this eyeshadow for over 12 hours and it's going strong i didn't touch up all together um, i just changed lip color and it's working really well i like how it works now. Before it used to feed within about 8 to 10 hours but with it drying out now it's working really good so I like it and for those of you who can get access to it I definitely recommend it. I prefer it much better than Urban Decay Primer Potion to face shadow insurance and a lot of those are popular um, eye primer. When you put this you don't necessarily need to use a base because of its consistency and whereas I generally use like a primer than a base, I could just use this alone and it works really well. If you have my skin tone, this also can act as a concealer for your lids and it will increase. I have extremely oily lids, so this works really well. All in all, I recommend this. When I bought it initially, I would have given it like a 3.5. Now I give it a 4.5. Have no complaints about it. I just wish the package was a little cuter and somewhere on top it could have said like eye primer because when it sits there, it just looks like a jot that says Inglot and I still don't need to see what it is. So if this eventually fades, then it's just going to look like a nice little black jar. So I wish for a little cute packaging. But that's just my thoughts on this. If you guys have it and use it, let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. And thanks again guys for watching and look out for this watch yourself.